All right, everybody, we're going to get started. Uh, thank you for coming. Welcome to the uh, 10th Thunder Plains. Uh, <clears throat> hard to believe uh, sometimes it's been going on that long. Um, we've actually been going on longer than JSConf now. I know that's hard. Uh, it's, it's not running anymore. Um, <laughs> but we are. <laughs> Um, so, uh, my name is Vance. Uh, I co-founded uh, Techlahoma and Thunder Plains, along with these two other fine folks down here, Jesse and Amanda Harlan. <laughs> um, if you want to join the Techlahoma community, if you're new to Techlahoma, um, you can jump on our Slack at slack.techlahoma.com, uh, .org, sorry. We have over 7,000 people in that Slack. Um, Various channels are pretty active. We have channels on a lot of different things, a lot of different technologies, the jobs channel, um, all kinds of stuff in there. Um, <clears throat> there is a Thunder Plains channel if you want to talk about conference stuff, too, on the Slack. So check that out. Um, we have a code of conduct at the conference. Uh, it's really just, you know, respect others, don't be an a-hole, that kind of stuff. Um, if there is a, an issue that you have, you can report it at the front desk or to Emily here. Uh, this is Emily down here. Uh, she'll, she'll be up here in a little bit later. Um, the Wi-Fi is, is uh, open Wi-Fi, um, no passwords, so uh, just connect to the OKCCC public uh, network. <clears throat> um, lightning talks. We have two tracks of lightning talks uh, starting at 2, and they'll be uh, 2.30. Uh, Aaron, raise your hand back there. So he's the uh, lightning talk, and Eric, is Eric here? Is he back there at the booth? Okay. They have a booth across from the registration table that you can go to to sign up for a lightning talk. It's just a five minute talk, a uh, hard, min <laughs> hard limit, <laughs> five minutes. Uh, you will be heckled greatly if you go past five minutes, because we've got to keep it going. But uh, <clears throat> you can just sign up to give a talk. There's some talks already. Uh, I think the green post-its are the empty talks. <clears throat> yep, so several slots, sign up by, sign up by, by 12.30. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors. So can I get a just round of applause for our sponsors? Thank you for helping our conference <clears throat> happen. Um, <clears throat> this conference is put on by Techlahoma. Um, and the proceeds of this conference go to help fund Techlahoma. Techlahoma is a 501c3 nonprofit uh, that funds all the user groups and uh, other activity <clears throat> in the state for like tech learning, um, other conferences, things like that. Uh, so now I'm going to go over a brief history of Thunder Plains. Uh, this is the 10th year of Thunder Plains, so this is the brief history of 11 conferences. And I know you might be like, well, 10 is not 11. Well, that's in here, and that's, uh, that's one, of the, one of the things in here. But first, uh, I want to uh, bring up Amanda and <laughs> Jesse Harlan. Come on up on stage, please. <laughs> I realized when making this, I was trying to find a good picture of the three of us on stage, and I realized, oh my gosh, we do not have one uh, in like 10 years of Thunder Plains. This is kind of a, a blurry, you know, bad camera photo. <laughs> Of us, so I want to get one real fast here. That's good so let's come on. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Felicia. Thank you, everyone, <clears throat> and thank you to these two for. I promise we won't do that too often. Once every ten years or so. <laughs> yeah, once every ten years. <laughs> thank you. Vince. All right. Thank you, Jesse and Amanda. <clears throat> okay. Um, so <clears throat> I got to go a little bit fast here, but. Um, this was like the Oklahoma City tech community before about 2012, 2011. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, there, was, there was some, there was a lot of people in tech here, but they didn't know each other, they weren't connected, they were in various companies, mainly oil and gas companies. You know, the, the Oklahoma economy is kind of driven by that. Um, they were uh, a lot of like paid user groups, like SharePoint user groups, uh, Salesforce user groups, a .NET user group, um, that uh, corporations kind of, you know, gave the helicopter money to, to like use their products and sell their products. And um, so uh, that was kind of the scene back then, uh, 10 plus years ago. 
Um, some events started to happen. Um, the Oklahoma City Coworking Collaborative, or the OKC COCO, was uh, a co-working space. Uh, there was this push, I don't know, in 2007, 2008, 2009, uh, around co-working spaces and startups. Uh, it's a time of like TechCrunch and, and other blogs that were uh, kind of big, kind of focused on startups. Startup Weekend started going. Um, <clears throat> the OKC COCO, uh, Derek Parkhurst, uh, helped us out a lot in the early days. Um, this was the first uh, time we felt like, hey, there's a lot of people here interested in tech. You know, what if, <clears throat> what if we did something larger that wasn't necessarily focused on startups, but just like tech people meeting up, learning more about technology, user groups, that kind of stuff. And uh, the wheels started turning. Uh, I think Jesse and I met. <laughs> I forget exactly how we met, but uh, it was somewhere back then or at an event, something like that. <clears throat> yeah, it was probably a startup meetup or open beta. Um, I didn't find the logo for open beta because you know uh, the web's uh, memory is not forever, uh, and that site is down. Um, <clears throat> but he did these open beta events where you could do startups and stuff, and uh, we were highly involved in that. Uh, I was, uh, along with the consultancy I had at the time. And so we decided to uh, start an OKCJS user group, o Oklahoma City JavaScript user group. And we had our first meeting um, in January of 2012, or 2012 <clears throat> uh, and I spoke on like testing, like with Jasmine. So um, this was at the OKC COCO. Um, Derek. Uh, let us use his mailing list to help get the word out uh, about the group, uh, to advertise it, um, to host it for free in the space. He had a projector and stuff we could use. Um, so we got the word out about this uh, in various forms. We expected uh, 15 to 20 people like Max. I think we got three pizzas. And uh, the very first meeting, 72 people showed up. Uh, and it just blew us away. Um, <clears throat> and then we we're like, okay, yeah, there's really something here. And so we continued to have meetings. Uh, the next meeting, uh, I think it was like 50-something, and then it kind of leveled off around 40-ish people every month uh, at OKCJS, uh, depending on the topic, uh, sometimes a lot more, sometimes uh, a little bit less. Um, but uh, that was the start of that group, and we kept it going up until uh, really 2019, kind of 2018, 2019, pre-COVID. Um, so the first conference was actually Red Dirt JS. Um, does, was anybody here for that? Uh, yeah, I know you two are. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> Red Dirt JS is like the 11th conference. Um, it was started in partnership with Derek Parkhurst of OKC Coco. He saw the success of the user group. We said, well, what if we what if we started a conference? Um, Jesse and Amanda actually went to um, JS Conf. Um, and talked to uh, Chris Williams about starting uh, a conference. And um, I think he suggested that, like, what about JSConf in Oklahoma? And then we're like, I don't know, there's already JSConf US. Um, and it was really big. Uh, and we're like, you know, we don't know if we can handle that big of a production right now. So we decided to start uh, our own conference, Thunder Plains. And that's really how this started. So the very first Thunder Plains was uh, November 7th, uh, 2013. And it was at the Oklahoma City Convention Center, which is uh, across the street. It's now the Prairie, uh, Prairie Surf Studios, the movie studio. Um, it was in partnership with Innotech. So one of the things about starting a conference is it's pretty risky. You have to take on a lot of costs. You know, and it's just the three of us with no budget doing this. Uh, uh, young marriages, young families, you know. <laughs> and um, so we. Uh, we partnered with Innotech. We started talking with Innotech after Derek. Uh, part, I think Derek introduced us to Sean uh, after doing Red Dirt JS. Uh, we started talking to Innotech, and they said, you know, we'd love to have the conference back. Um, the name Red Dirt JS, though, was owned by Derek, so we couldn't continue with that. So we thought up Thunder Plains. Uh, we think it's appropriate for Oklahoma. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, and we did. Uh, uh, Basically, two rooms added on to Inatech, advertised as a separate conference. We sold our own tickets. Um, and we used the uh, Oklahoma City JavaScript user group to kind of advertise that and push it, push it out. So 
Um, and that was the first Thunder Plains. And then, um, I think we had around 150, 175 folks come out. Uh, so it was, it was a pretty good conference. Uh, it was obvious there was something there. So we continued that there um, until 2015. So 2013, 2014, 2015, uh, we're at the same place. Um, the first year we kind of moved out on our own. We moved to the Devon Boathouse in 2016. Um, and that was, uh, that was just an awful, awful lot of work. Um, the AV stuff, uh, we were there. The AV crew was there. You were there, and Ben and a bunch of others were there uh, like all day almost, the, the day beforehand until, I don't know, 2 a.m., <laughs> getting all the AV set up because they didn't have all this set up, you know? And the acoustics were, it was a great venue. It looked amazing, but the, uh, the acoustics weren't, <laughs> weren't great, and uh, we had to do all our own setup. It was a two-day conference. It was our first two-day conference ever, and actually the only two-day conference, uh, the only two-day Thunder Plains uh, thus far, uh, because it turns out the second day, uh, I think only about 50% of the people came to the second day, and so then we overordered on food and all that stuff. But these are things you learn at, you know, running a conference. Um, the year after that, we went to the Will Rogers Theater, um, and uh, Ron, Ron spoke there, uh, who's back this year, um, and, and some others too. Um, this is where we have actually a lot of the, the good pictures as well, that are uh, like, because we had someone taking pictures um, for us. Uh, and this, uh, this was actually the first year Thunder Plains lost money for Tecklahoma. Th th uh, Tecklahoma is, uh, Thunder Plains usually makes, is a money maker for Tecklahoma. And uh, uh, yeah, J Jesse's face right now is like, Ugh. yeah. Uh, so, so this was the first year we actually lost money. Um, and then to recover, we went back. We went back to, to partnership with uh, Intertech, One Day Conference, um, 2018 and 2019. Um, at the Cox Convention Center. Um, now, 2020, <laughs> uh, everyone, everyone knows uh, what happened in 2020, so we went virtual. Uh, it was our first virtual conference. Um, it worked out, but um, you know, a lot less excitement around a virtual conference. People weren't quite ready to get back in person, even in November of 2020, obvious reasons. Uh, 2021 um, was the only year we didn't have a conference um, in succession. So uh, we did uh, we did like a throwback conference, which is we just we put up some of the best videos from previous years, and um, we didn't have an actual event. So that was the uh, the streak is not like completely unbroken, un <laughs> unfortunately. But stuff happens. COVID changed a lot of stuff. Uh, I think uh, 2021 was super iffy on when people were going to get back in person or or if, uh, some of you may remember that time, some of you may have blocked it out, <laughs> but uh, that's, that's just the thing of the time, so that's the, kinda, kinda the gap year. 2021, uh, 2022, we were back here um, in this room, um, and then today is the 10th Thunder Plains uh, back here again in the uh, Oklahoma City Convention Center. Um, I, uh, I went through my closet and I took a picture of all the shirts. Uh, I kept, I keep, I grab an extra shirt every year, usually like a small or extra small or something that we have like a lot of, <laughs> and I just keep them. And I, I went through my closet and I pulled out every, every year. Um, if this is the 10th year, you might be saying, well, there's eight shirts there. You know, how is this every year? It's because we use the, uh, the HTML tag lightning bolt shirt two years in a row. So instead of just putting that twice, it was easier just to put the unique shirts there. So, uh, um, yeah, so this is a shirt from every year, and then, you know, adding, adding this one in purple, uh, which is the one you received today as part of registration. Um, as I said, <clears throat> Thunder Plains supports Teclahoma, and Teclahoma was kind of created as the nonprofit to uh, take money, solicit donations, fund all these things, um, and uh, if you, uh, since it's a nonprofit, we run completely on donations. And this is the biggest money maker uh, for uh, Thunder Plains. So thank you for coming. Thank you for buying a ticket. Thank you for supporting this event uh, for 10 years. 
and counting. And uh, thank you for sponsoring if you, if you or your company sponsored as well. Uh, we really appreciate it. It means a lot for the community. All the money goes back into the community that we raise here. Uh, I'm going to pass it over to Emily here um, now. So come on up. Um, and while she's coming up here, it's just going to ask you a quick question real quick. Uh, thank you, Vance, so much. Um, Vance, Jesse, and Amanda, thank you for starting this conference, starting this organization. Can we give them a round of applause? All right. So, if you haven't met me yet, my name is Emily Hardin. I'm the executive director of Techlahoma. Um, these three wonderful volunteers created this organization, and now we have a paid employee, right? Uh, so it's really exciting that we're here and that we're doing this. Um, we have a big announcement. You have seen that it is technically the 10th Thunder Plains. Well, technically it is 10 years of Techlahoma. So uh, we were established in what? Next year, next year, yes, I should say that, next year. So we were established in 2014, so our 10th anniversary is in 2024. We have had a decade of technology, education, and community building. Um, we're gathered here at Thunder Plains, which is a symbol of innovation and collaboration. And I'm really excited to reflect on the journey we've had and looking forward to next year and the next 10 years. Um, our goal for next year is to raise $100,000 in individual donations. Um, we think this is attainable. We've hit these goals before, um, but never all in one year. So this is very exciting. We have a bunch of 10th anniversary celebrations planned that we're working on from events, workshops, get togethers and hangouts, honoring the past and laying the foundation for the future. Thanks to the sponsors, volunteers, and tech enthusiasts, of course, for their support. But we want to make 2024 a year of inspiration and community growth. Um, we're at an exciting new chapter in uh, Techlahoma history, so we're really excited to be here. Um, our theme is decoding a decade. So if you scan the QR code, which I know people get cautious in the <laughs> security business, especially of scanning QR codes. Uh, I promise it's a legit QR code. Uh, you can scan it and you can see uh, what a little bit of what we have planned. Uh, we're planning on having a silent auction all year. We're planning on having different uh, 10th anniversary specific uh, swag that you can get. Um, I even have, if you come find me later, I have a Teklahoma bomber jacket, right? So uh, show, rep, your, rep the organization, uh, show us some love, we'd love to have you. All right, if you have any issues with the conference throughout the day, find someone in a gray Thunder Plains shirt. It looks the exact same as this one, except for gray. Or find me. Um, I'm Emily. I'll be running around like a crazy person all day. Uh, so feel free to reach out to me at any time. And with that, we are going to get ready for our next two speakers. Um, we are going to split the room so that we have two different tracks going at the same time. Um, so go ahead and grab some coffee, uh, talk to the booths, and get everything ready, and we'll get started in just a few minutes. Thanks, everyone.